yeah so now let's see the fourth method okay so if you remember till now we covered uh, uh, list head and mkdi mk directory okay so in this directory if you see let me check okay let's remove this so if you see this directory we have created and now it is empty right so now uh, let me do it so if you run this the directory is already there now let's check if there is anything inside this directory or not so if i run it i'll not see anything it means there is no file inside this directory now to add one file what i can do either i can add manually i can go to the data and go to dpfs inside this and it will give me an option to upload here if you click on this you just have to drag and drop the file over here and it will help you to upload it the other way is i can use put command the the command which is given by the file utility method so i can say this dot put then let's take the help of put first so that you will understand yeah so if you see this it will help you to write a given string in a file right but what if the file is not there so if the file is not there it will create a new file for you and if you wanted to override that file in that case you need to pass one more parameter which is called override okay and that parameter should be in a boolean like true or false now the first parameter will be a file name the second parameter will be the string and the data which you wanted to write in that particular file and the third is if you wanted to override that file you can use it so let's see <coughs> So I'll go to the next command. I'll put it again. Dot put, and I'll go to that path, right? The folder which we have created. Now, inside this folder, let's say I'll be creating one hello dot txt file, right? And uh, this is the file path. Now, after path file path, I want to enter hello. Sir, okay, let's run it. So what it says, it says true. It wrote ten bytes. Okay. Now, if you go and check over here in the DBFS, it will create a new file, and the file name is hello txt. Now, if you wanted to see the data inside this hello txt, as I said earlier, also right. What you can do, you can again use the same method, right? And you can. First of all, you can see if the file is there or not, right? And if the file is there, you can simply use uh, the head command, right? Okay, let me show you. Okay, put it over there. Sorry. Uh, oh man, I missed to remove this. Let's run it again. It will show you. This is the one, the data which we have in this file. Now let's suppose you wanted to override this file with some other data. So again, we can say, okay, hello friends. And if I run it like this, okay, it will give me an error saying that the file is already exist. Since it will always try to create a new file, but now the file is already there, so we need to override it, right? So in that case, you need to pass one more parameter, as in true or false. If you pass it true, it means we are overwriting the file. Now, if you run this command again, you will see the data is changed. So this is how you can use put command. Okay. Now let's see how we can use the other commands as well, like move and copy. Okay. So <clears throat> yeah, move. If you can see here again, we can pass first path and then second path and this true and false right if the file is already there you can uh, i mean you can simply skip it or something like that so let's say let's see again press the move right? and if you wanted to get details you can put like this now inside this move if you see here we have different parameters right 
so the first parameter is the source file directory the second is the destination file directory the third one is if true all files and directories will be recursively moved so if there are more than one files and you want to move all the files in one go you can use this okay and uh, now let's say you yeah once it is done return true if the move was successful so from is deleted and to contains the data so basically it will delete from this source and uh, it will move the data to two okay so let's let's try to move it let's try to move some file over here okay fs dot mv now as i said we need to pass the source okay so let's say source will be this one I wanted to move this file now. Okay. Okay. And uh, now I wanted to move it to uh, copy some other directory path as well. Yeah, let's try to move it here. In the MND. let's see how it works okay so as of now i will not provide any other parameters if the file will be moved then it will give you true so true so let's see what all changes are there in our dbfs now so if you see the, the uh, in the file system you have the folder yt and inside this folder you have file but the, there is no file now because the file is moved to the mnt directory so if you see here the file is moved here now now let's say i wanted to copy this file from this uh, mnt to the again the same location right so to copy the data again i will copy the again i will take it like this i'll say cp this is the last command i think which is left let me take a look again yeah uh, yes cp okay so it will give you the command to copy now i'm using cp and i will be passing this information here and i want okay it is a source right and then this is the destination where i want this file to be copied okay so let's run it and see true right so now ideally we should see the files in both the location so if you see here in the mnt we have this file now let's go to the file storage yt tables and the files and other things now see the data is also here so this is how we can use it there is one more command which is used to delete the directory in the files if you see here that is called rm remove right so it will remove the file of the directory let's say i wanted to remove one file out of it again okay i wanted to remove the file from this particular folder copy this and set let's run it true so if i go there again in the dbfs you'll see so you'll see in the mount we don't have this folder now so that's how you can use all these functions which are related to the file system but apart from this file util fs utilities right we have some other utility functions as well for mounting now these mounting related functions are related to uh, basically create a connection between other storage locations so we'll take this part in another uh, video uh, so thank you thank you so much